cook. Welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, want you to come and play. This music, it's so relaxing. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> hey, Ben. Ben. Oh, yes. <laughs> hello, everyone. I've just been listening to some classical music. It's played by a group of people called an orchestra. And in the orchestra, there are lots of different people playing lots of different instruments. Some of the instruments have strings, like a violin. Oh, haven't you got an old violin in the cupboard, Ben? Oh, yes, I have small. I'll go and get it to show you. You play the violin by holding a long stick with horse hair on it. This is called a bow. The violin has four strings. And you move the bow across the strings to make a sound. Here it is. You play it like this. Ooh, what a terrible sound! <laughs> <laughs> In an orchestra, there are also things called percussion instruments. These are instruments that you have to hit or bang, like cymbals <laughs> and drums. <laughs> <laughs> and a brass section where people play metal instruments like trumpets. Do you like my trumpet? <laughs> I found it in the drawer. It's a nozzle from an icing bag and it's the perfect size for me. Can you try and keep in time with the music, Small? You're going too fast. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. I'll try it a little slower. Well, now you're too slow. Try and keep in time with the music. We'll have to try and be in an orchestra later, Small. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way. Woohoo! Way! <laughs> Who's our customer today, Small? You'll have to try and guess, Ben. He's very smart. He's wearing a white shirt, a long black coat and tails, and he's got a bow tie on. He sounds like a penguin. <laughs> it's not a penguin. He's holding a stick and humming along to music. Is he part of an orchestra? Yes, a very important part. Well, is he the conductor? That's right, it's Colin the conductor. He stands in front of an orchestra and conducts the musicians using a baton. That's like a stick. He makes sure they keep in time. Now, what can we cook for someone so clever and musical? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was taking a stroll along the road when I walked past a concert hall. Standing outside was a very smart man who was nearly as small as me. <laughs> he was looking rather sad, so I asked him what was the matter. The man, whose name was Colin, explained that he was a conductor and he had a concert that evening with lots of people coming to watch. He had a big orchestra with people playing many different instruments. There were trumpets, violins, drums and cymbals. The only problem was that he was the conductor and he used his baton to keep all the instruments in time. However, because he was a little bit too short, no one in the orchestra could see what he was doing. That afternoon, I decided to go and watch a practice. It was a disaster. The trumpets were too fast. The violins were too slow and the drum was boom-booming all over the place. 
I knew I had to help Colin. Then I had an idea. First, I tried giving Colin the conductor a trampoline to bounce on. But the orchestra started to feel giddy. Next, I tried putting Colin the conductor on a pair of stilts. Everyone could see him, but he kept falling over. <laughs> Suddenly, I spotted the perfect thing. A big round box that was used for storing the drum. Whoopee! When Colin stood on the box, it was the perfect height. He could see everyone, and everyone could see him. The concert was about to begin. Colin the conductor waved his baton in the air, and the music started. The orchestra kept perfect time and sounded amazing. Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Oh, that was brilliant. We need Colin to come in here and teach us how to stay in time, don't we, Small? Way! I'm back. We do, Ben, but we still don't know what to cook for a hungry conductor. Come on then, little cook. We need to have a good think. Hmm, I wonder. Ooh. <sighs> I know Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. Here we are, the perfect recipe for a conductor. Cheesy batons with a salsa dip. Just like the baton Colin used to conduct the orchestra. Come on then, little cook. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need wholemeal flour. OK, over to the cupboard. Wholemeal flour. Oh, yes, got it small. Oil. In the cupboard as well. Oil. Yep. Milk. There we go. Got the milk small. Cheese. There we go. Cheese, if you please. Got it. Tomatoes. There we go. Got them. Onion. In here. Got the onion, yep. Green pepper. Pepper in here as well, nice and green, got that. And garlic. Garlic, garlic. Oh, we haven't got any garlic. Here we go, small. Everything we need for the recipe, apart from the garlic. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll just whiz off and get some, and you get all the other ingredients ready. Good idea, little cook. I'll see you later. See you later. Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, this field is huge! It's a field of garlic. The garlic plant grows in the ground and sometimes has a beautiful flower on the top like this. Some garlic plants just have lots of green leaves. I wonder what that tractor's doing. Let's take a closer look. That's a big blue tractor. And look, the machine on the back is loosening the earth so the garlic can be pulled out of the ground. You have to scrape off the dirt. <laughs> Look at all the hairy roots. Garlic is used in recipes to add flavour. These ladies are bunching the garlic together. I've got to get this lovely smelly garlic back to the cafe. Bye. And in with the drums. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I so need a bat on. Way! I'm back. Are you pretending to be a conductor, Ben? <laughs> oh, yes, Small. But I need a bat on to conduct properly. We'll have to think of something later, Ben. I've brought back the garlic. <laughs> Whoa! -ho! Hey! Garlic grows in the ground and is used to flavour lots of recipes. Come on, Small, let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <music> Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruit smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. 
We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to cheesy batons and salsa dip? You do. There was milk, two tablespoons, cheese, 120 grams, grated, wholemeal flour, 60 grams, and for the salsa, onion, half, finely chopped, green pepper, one, finely chopped, tomatoes, Four. Chopped. Oil. One tablespoon. And garlic. One clove. Chopped. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now, the first thing we need to do is fry the onions, the green pepper, the garlic, in the oil until they're nice and soft. Now, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because it's a hot job. And the hob is hot, hot, hot. Now, I wonder what Ben could use as a baton for his conducting. <laughs> then add the tomatoes. And cook until they're nice and soft. Hey, Ben, how about using this spoon as a baton? <laughs> hey, I could stir my tea with that. <laughs> it's not for stirring your tea, Ben. It's for conducting. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> I give up. I'm going to play my trumpet instead. Hey, maybe Colin the conductor can give me a few lessons. The salsa looks ready now, so I'll turn off the heat and carefully spoon it into a bowl. And this is another job for your grown-up helper to do. Mmm, tasty! We can leave it to cool now for a little while while we make the cheesy batons. Hooray! Now we're going to preheat the oven to 190 degrees Celsius, gas mark 5. Ooh. <laughs> Next, lightly grease your baking tray with a little oil or margarine. Can you do that for me, Small? It might stop that racket for a while. Come on, Small, keep in time. You're all over the place. Cheeky. <laughs> OK, Ben, pass the baking tray over. That's it, Small. Right. Now, sift the flour into a mixing bowl to get rid of all the lumps and bumps. Sifty, sifty, sifty. Be careful, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Oh, sorry, small. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't worry, Ben. I'll just go and dust myself down. <laughs> when the flour's nicely sieved, add the cheese. And then rub it into the flour with your nice clean fingertips until it goes all crumbly. I've finished greasing the baking tray, Ben. Thanks, Small. Right, the mixture's now crumbly enough to add the milk. Pour it in. Now the milk should start to bring it together to make a dough. Now I've mastered the trumpet, I wonder what other instruments I can try. Flour your surface, then roll the dough out using a rolling pin into a rectangle shape. They have drums in an orchestra. With my lolly sticks, I'm going to pretend these things are drums. Here goes! Small, what are you doing now? Stop just banging and try and keep in time. 
Now cut the dough into thin batons. I'm a one-man orchestra. I can play the trumpet, the violin, and the drums. All at the same time. Oh, what a noise. Oh, 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 oh. oh, to have some peace. Oh, right. I've put the batons onto the baking tray, and now we can pop them into the oven for 15 minutes. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. Open up the oven, and in they go. We need to cook them until they're golden brown. I'll set the timer for 15 minutes. <laughs> The cheesy batons are cooked and cooled now, and I've arranged them on a plate around the salsa dip. That looks scrumptious! Quick, Ben, let's get it to Colin the conductor before he gets too hungry. OK, Small, here we go. One cheesy batons with salsa dip coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes, Small! And it looks like Colin enjoyed his cheesy batons with salsa dip. Look, he's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, The cheesy batons with salsa dip were music to my taste buds. Woohoo! Delicious! I heard Little Cook was having some trouble keeping in time with the music. To say thank you, I'm giving Ben my baton to help keep Small in time from Colin the Conductor. Brilliant! Oh, what a lovely thank you. Come on, Small, let's have a go. Remember to keep looking at the conductor. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, hey, Small! <laughs> what great playing! Thanks to your brilliant conducting. Hey, hey, see you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone. We'll cook for everyone.